immerse you into a 30-day program to replace your old habits with new habits and totally change your life. And if you have PPO private health insurance, the entire program may be covered. Fix your problem right now before it gets any worse. Get clean. Call now and learn more. 877-247-1581. Out of date carpet giving you the blues? Tired of your old dingy and broken tile? Let my friends at the floor store in Cleveland, Texas give your home the makeover it deserves. This is old Taco Joe coming to you for the floor store. Whether it's carpet, tile, wood flooring, or real wood laminate, the floor store can cover all of your flooring needs. Located at 405 West Henderson Street in Cleveland, Texas, owner Brent Harris can help. Shower tile, tub surrounds, even backsplashes. Give them a call today at 817-641-9444. The Floor Store, they got you covered. Attention all business owners and creative minds. Do you need a unique and personalized touch for your products? Look no further than Romika Laser Engraving and Custom Designs. I'm Ron Phillips, co-owner of Romika Designs. We offer custom laser engraving services for a variety of products, including promotional items and corporate or personal gifts. With state-of-the-art equipment and a team of skilled designers, we can engrave intricate designs on virtually any material. Whether it's a special message, a company logo, or a custom design, Romika Laser Engraving will help you make your mark. And the best part, our prices are affordable and our turnaround time is quick. I couldn't be happier with the work Romika Laser Engraving did for me. The engraving on my product was precise and exactly what I wanted. So don't wait any longer to add a personal touch to your products. Call Romika Laser Engraving and Custom Designs today at 817-400-4040 or visit our website at romikadesigns.com. We look forward to helping you make your mark. Fast Track Student Loans can get your student loans out of default, stop any wage garnishments, stop collection calls, and stop seizure of your tax refund. Give yourself a break. Stop the stress and get your student loan payments down to as little as $25 a month based on what you can afford to pay. 800-709-4395. 800-709-4395. 800-709-4395. 800 800-709-4395. You're listening to Joko Community Radio. We are so excited to be here. And just a reminder, we are here with Joko Community Radio, who is proud to be the voice of Johnson County, Texas, and is live 365 on the TuneIn Radio Network. To listen or watch, just simply go to tuneinjoko.com to choose where and how. Now, the Joko Community Radio app is available for free, both on your Android and iOS devices. Simply search your store, check out our lineup and more on jococommunityradio.com. This episode is brought to you by Patriot Claims, making your insurance work for you. Now on this beautiful Friday, April 28th, we've got a great show coming up. I am going to start us out with a quick word of prayer, and then we're going to turn it over to Foster to introduce our guests for the first and second half of the show today. Let's bow our head real quick. Dear Heavenly Father, we're honored to be here to help the job seeker community. Use us to further your kingdom. Open doors of opportunity for all job seekers everywhere. Lead, guide, and direct them, and may we all be building fruit during this transition. In your name we pray, Jesus. Amen. Well, good morning, Foster. And good morning. Lady Mez Negros Contario in the background as well. Thank you, Mez. Morning, Mez. Absolutely. Can you guys hear me okay? We can hear you. All right. All right. I was having some technical issues this morning, so I'm trying to get everything worked out. And uh, my background's not working, so I'm going to have to fix that. So I'll look different from you guys. Plus, I got a haircut anyway, so, you know. Nice haircut, Foster. <laughs> okay, so guys, welcome to the Job Father. 
I am surrounded by ladies today. I am the job father. I am Foster Williams. Girls rule. I get Jason. I guess I gotta agree with that, don't I, man? Or I'll get beat up. (laughs) (laughs) So, welcome, 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 guys. First things first, though, we want to tell you guys uh, about people that have landed and a couple of jobs that we have that we want to let you guys know about that are hot right now. So, we want to congratulate some folks on landing a job and Karen Bird. Is a, she's a president over at uh, Shulak Breakfast Music Festival. She for that festival, she was voted president. And we're going to be talking about we got another president, we got a president with us today. We've got May Lynn. And uh, number two, Paula Arellano is at our she's over there with our buddy Barbara Doucette over there at Omni Hotels. Uh, uh, Dana, she is she's now the senior marketing manager at Omni Barton Creek at Barton Creek Resort and Spa for that's part of Omni. So, congratulations to Paula, and then we've got a, a friend, M- uh, Mindy Dawn Hunt, is part of our uh, South Lake Fitness Group, and she has landed, she's administrative coordinator at Assured Partners. So, congratulations, Mindy. And uh, actually, Mindy has joined us on the show before, so she may be listening. So, Mindy, if you are, just chime in with us. Now, we got a real cool one because Natalia Koltiarsky, I I don't know if I'm saying that right, she is over in Russia. And she has landed as sales and marketing specialist at Mihai Media Solutions. Now, that's something going on over there in, in, in Russia. I don't know about me how media solutions, but she sells and marketing specialist for those guys. So she's getting out and telling everybody about me. And I'm going to when I connect with her next, I'm going to say, hey, tell me all about me. OK, so getting back to what we do, guys, let me tell you guys about a couple of, of jobs that we have up in Denton. There is a company called Munster Milling up there. And um, our friend Malcolm Pace is the CHRO up there, and he needs a person that handles his scheduling for all of his materials. So you 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 folks that work in, in uh, manufacturing, uh, you guys know what a material scheduler is, and that's what she, that's what Malcolm is looking for. Now, you can contact me if you are that person, and that job sounds good to you. I can set you up with Malcolm. We've got another uh, CHR. Man, our HR network is just rocking and rolling. Uh, we've got another CHRO uh, that is looking for a director of HR over at the Hope Center over in Plano. The Hope Center, guys, is a center where a lot of Christian-based businesses are. They're really, really serious about their uh, about the ministry that they is. Oh my God, there's probably 30 companies over there in that one building. And Marketplace Chaplains is one of those companies. Marketplace Chaplains is where our buddy Brett Billups is the CHRO, and he is building a brand new HR service for the whole company. That even though they are a ministry, even though they are not for profit. They are global and they're, they're a big old company, they're global in size. And so we're looking for a director of HR. So if you have had probably six to eight years of, of, um, of HR experience in now, you, that, that experience has to be in a leadership role. You will want to have been senior business partner or director or something like that. Then uh, I would love to talk to you guys. And uh, I need to shut my phone up, man. It always goes off when I'm on the show. <laughs> it's because oh, you're popular, man. Foster. Man. It is because you're popular. And a lot of times it's people that are listening, people that are driving around in the cars listening to us. <laughs> it's oh, popular. yeah. Yeah. So, guys, again, um, uh, Marketplace Chaplains needs a director of HR. If you have had about it six to eight years of, uh, of HR re- leadership experience, Call Foster, 214-728-6930. Or, guys, you might want to shoot me an email. I might want to shoot me your resume. Foster.Williams at sbcglobal.net. Let me tell you again. 
foster.williams at sbcglobal.net. I will be glad to tell you everything I know and connect you with my buddies over there, and we can talk and find out if that is the job for you. That'd be easy to do. That is one of the things that I do as a job father. So now I want to introduce our president. Madam President. All right, I love that. May Lynn is with us. And May, guys, is the president hey, of Dallas PMI, Project Management Institute. So May Lynn's going to tell us a little bit about P- Dallas PMI, and she's going to tell us what's going on. There's a couple of events and things, things that you guys need to know. If you are in project management, obviously, but if you're a business analyst, David Williams, you might want to make sure that you connect with May. And I'm going to make sure you guys do that anyway, because David Williams is like my my long lost brother. And so, Maylin, tell us a little bit about uh, Project Management Institute in Dallas. Okay, thank you, Foster. I can talk about PNI Dallas for maybe five days nonstop, but I know you only have a few <laughs> yeah. minutes for me. I will say we are a professional nonprofit organization with project management community in DFW area. We are partner. We do have a sister chapter like PNI Forward chapter. Forward, yeah, that's right. Yeah, Dallas chapter, we have over 4,000 members. In forward chapter, they have a, I don't know their data, but I think they have about 1,200 to 1,000 about. So uh-huh. around like 5,000 PMI local chapter member, plus a lot of people may not part of chapter, but on PMP, we estimate it's about 20,000 people at least have PMP in DFW area. We are here to serve the community, serve our profession, and making sure everybody then they are dream job and have a great career. Yeah, there's a lot of companies that connect with you guys and let you know when they have uh, positions open and stuff. I mean, if you're a company and you are, need to hire a project management or somebody working in a PMO office or something like that, I think it wouldn't it be common sense to contact Project Management Institute. I think I think it is. I don't, you know, I'm just a yeah. reporter. What do I know? We are the best in the local area. If you're looking for project management professional, adjunct, squad master, we are the pool of talent here. A lot of mm-hmm. people already have a job. So if you want to steal somebody from, you know, ship to your, your organization, come to, come to meet with us, come to talk to us, come to say why this company will be a great company for us to contribute. And I think our member will be appreciate that opportunity and that conversation. Hey, Maylin, is there a website or something that we can that people can go to to check you guys out? Definitely. That is, I'm going to put in the chat, and I'm quite sure I put in the right chat. It's pnidollars.org. Uh-huh. So you can go to pnidollars.org. We do have a couple, like we have a, we promote about 70 to 90 events per year. So wow. it's about three to five, three to six events per month. We do have a lot of great networking. If you are in Las Colinas area, May 11, we will be in the Las Colinas Country Club. And I know somebody so amazing going to be there with me. And I believe Foster. Oh, that dude again? Yeah. You know, if I'm going part, to partner with you guys, I'm going to be busy, huh? Wow. I'm going to be going like to Foster's the everywhere these days. <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna be my honoring guest, and of Ooh. course, I think that will help us to strengthen the relationship. Really, have recruiter front and center to the best talent. See, I told you guys I was special. See, yeah, May said. So, May Lynn, uh, quick question for you. So, for individuals that have done some project management, would be interested in getting more involved and possibly even obtaining their PMP. Um, tell us a little bit more about what they, the basics of what they would need to know and do to move forward. Okay, that is a great question. So a lot of people, they actually do a lot of project management related work. They just need to know the terminology and they are requirement for PMP certification, project management p- professional certification. Uh-huh. They need to take a training. The training is not provided by the chapter. It provides many, many training provider, provide by PNI, provide by other individual. So they need to go through the training. The requirement is they need to go through the training. They need to document that they have project management experience, not necessarily named as a project manager, but project management experience. 
Submit the application and the most importantly, just passing that exam. I know a lot of people worry about the exam, but that actually is the easiest thing because you have to document everything you have. You have to finish that training. Then you can apply for the exam. When you finish the exam, you can choose. Actually, before you even take the exam, I recommend everybody to join PNI as a member because you actually got discount to be a to take the PMP. Then you can actually join local chapter. You don't need to get PMP to looking for a project management job. However, you need to be able to con convey the message. You need to be yeah. able to mm -hmm. let people know you have those transferable skill set. With the PMP, those three letter actually give people a sense of confidence. Know, hey, you pass the exam, and that exam is a four hour exam with two hundred questions. Not easy. Oh my goodness. Yeah, oh my I, God, I, I had school. a friend yeah, Rick that recently got his PMP. You remember Rick? Foster, he is part of the network group and he knows Judy Wardle and there was a opportunity through the county to get it funded. And uh, I believe it was the same oh, program okay. that he went through. I've heard really good things about it. Yes, um, I believe, uh, Dana, you are talking about we Ora program. If Josh Seeker right now is on employment, they actually have a potential to be eligible to apply, go to the local county office and apply and ask your case manager, say, hey, I think if I have PMP, that will help. I believe in our Collin County, Dallas County, it's up right. to like $10,000. They give really? you, yeah, yeah, they give you the and yeah. they approve. Wow. Wow. Now that's a value, I, isn't it? That is a value and, and actually it's in our website. If you search WIOA at the PNI dollar chapter dot org, we actually has the honor to uh, invite the local officer, case manager officer to talk about real that program because the truth is during the COVID time, it's a bit hit. And right now during the technology tech giant layoff, yeah, we have employee, we have member from Microsoft, from AWS, from Meta. It's all hit differently. But I just want to say, if you are a job seeker, you're on employment right now. If you go to contact your local office, I just put the link in the chat. We actually have the case manager do the presentation to give you an idea who may be eligible and who can you contact. So. That's okay. why you should everybody should consider joining PNI Dollar Chapter. And that's why, Foster, we will come back more frequent to help those project management professionals on this uh -huh. show. And we've got loads of them. We've got a we've got a special, I like to call it special interest group. It is a CSN project management, uh, a business analysis, supply chain, and logistics group. All of the people that are involved in those areas, especially it's mainly it's mainly geared towards project management. But we have a specific group on Wednesdays, every Wednesday at nine in the morning, that group meets and it's it's for project management professionals. It's really pretty cool. And we get a lot of value out of that with networking with other folks, bringing in companies that are looking for project managers. So not only will I send them to our group, but I will also suggest that they connect with May and get involved in Dallas PMI because most of the companies that are looking to hire for project managers want they want to see that PMI certification yeah. anyway. And Dana, do you remember Dr. Orlando Dumas? Uh, he is one, guys. I would suggest that you guys connect with Dr. Orlando Dumas. Okay. He is one person that, that pr provides the AM. What did you say? Maylin A I O can't W I O A. That's right. The W I O A program will provide for that, guys. In a lot of cases, you want to find out if you qualify for that. Contact Dr. Orlando Dumas. Tell him D U M A S is his last name. Tell him that Foster and Dana were opening a big mouth on the show talking about you and your program. <sighs> <laughs> and so these are some of the things that I'm glad that you're with us. Maylin has done a wonderful job, guys, on the network. Of She is partnering with the network. We're going to see her at our upcoming Frisco Connect on, the, on Tuesday at 9 in the morning. You guys make sure and go to FriscoConnect.org to see the details of what we're going to be offering on Tuesday. And guess what? May will be right there for you to meet her in person. And as you can tell, 
May has quite the personality. You definitely want to meet May Lynn and connect with her on LinkedIn. How about that, May? Did that do okay? Hey, Foster, you know, I heard a saying before I even live in Texas. Everything is bigger in Texas, so I need to have that big personality. <laughs> yeah. You got to have that big personality. That's right. <laughs> Dana and I, we've got that. <laughs> Yeah, big personalities are welcome. <laughs> yeah. But all personalities are welcome, right? All We're all person God's Absolutely. <laughs> so yeah, we've got we've got somebody with us that's from Buffalo, New York. We'll be talking to her. Wow. <laughs> and you know what? I feel like we need to say that J Hop is our unofficial official hype guy. We have Mez as our hype lady, and we have J Hop as our hype guy. <laughs> now Dana's talking about Jason Hopper, guys. You yes. can see him there in this in the uh, chat. Jason Hopper is one of the coaches over at Jewish Family Services in Dallas, guys, over there on Montfort Lane, I think it is over there. And guys, go to jfsdallas.org. You can see all of the things that they serve. Jewish Family Services has been, they've been servicing the job seeker community for years. I think probably since the 60s. You do not have to be Jewish, guys. Is that is who sponsors that that uh, that ministry over there? But um, you got Jason Hopper over there, and you got Allison, and they will just absolutely love to help you. There's a number of things that they do. Let me tell you that again. J go to oh. jfsdallas.org. Hey, Foster, did right. you see that Holly Doty landed something too? She got a no, quality Holly insurance landed. role. Holly, you landed. Yes, oh with God. Ascension Healthcare. Yay! All <laughs> right, Holly. So, okay, we got one more landing. Uh, Holly, congratulations. Holly, yes, Holly's still... been a faithful listener. We love our she Holly has Doty. Been. We love our Holly Doty. Holly, tell those people when you start your job, hey, I need an hour every Friday so I can join the Job Father Job <laughs> yes. Secret Network Radio. <laughs> Holly, let me know if they need any talent acquisition support over there, leadership. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right, guys. We've got a job seek. We got two job seekers on the show today. So that's yeah. pretty cool. Holly, congratulations. Okay. Now, traditionally, we want donuts. You know, at our meetings, you know, for, for if you come out to one of the oh, meetings, you got to bring the donuts. Now, your job is a permanent job. So you will bring full on donuts. If it were a contract, you would bring donut holes because oh. it's not a whole job. <laughs> okay, May Lanny, we got that. Oh my goodness! Yeah, and if you bring Foster Donut, make sure it has bacon on top of it. <laughs> well, you know that that helps, doesn't it? Uh, actually, it doesn't help, but it helps. <laughs> Holly says it may have to be my lunchtime break to listen to y'all. Hey, if you can, Holly, we if you can't, we understand. But yeah. you never get rid of Foster and Dana once nope. you once you team up with us. You get a job. You hear from us five years later. Holly, what's going on? What well, what are you up to? We're truly this show is a blessing and being part of the greater network that Foster is a part of is a blessing. Um, I have an exciting I was going to say, you know, we really look out for each other and we truly um, support one another. And I've learned a lot through this unexpected layoff. Unfortunately, my previous company has been going through massive layoffs since the end of last year. And I yeah. didn't think it was going to affect my account. But it did. And I had the pleasure of um, meeting Holly and it re put put that transition time into a deep perspective for me. Um, and, and I was going to say, if I could ask for some prayers, um, I've got a wonderful opportunity that I'm interviewing next week in person for in Nashville. And we're talking about potentially expanding some of the network and some of what we do and some of the, the blessings that foster sows into the community into nashville as well we already are nationwide and we have some people from other countries yes, listening we as well but the job seeker community we have to be there for each other and support each other and encourage each other and share tips and treasures because things are not stagnant the ways that people look for jobs the ways that we uh, uh position our resumes the ways that we interview the technology that's used correct me if i'm wrong Foster, but it's fluid, ever changing, yeah. ever moving. It and is. we want to stay on, on top of it for our community and always give back and be a part of the community in any way you can. 
And you know, that's what I like about May because that is her. May and I Love talked it, about man. that. And, and May, and she she does a good job of, I don't want to say infiltrating, but that's what I help her do. I want to get I want to get May in the middle of everything because of her person. She got that big Texas personality. Yes. And the service that May stands behind, I've been a part of for actually may i didn't tell you but i have spoken at dallas bmi years and years ago oh, and I'm, awesome. I'm also part of fort worth so guys project management institute has grown over the years uh and it is absolutely a wonderful thing if you're a business analyst or you're in project management definitely if you're in project management you want to not only have your pmp or you know, PMI certification, but you want to network with these people. Dana and I and May tell people all the time, hey, if you get out, don't let your job search be mechanical. Get yeah. out and meet people because half the jobs that we find out about in the network are not even published. So, yes. you know, meet, exactly. a lady like May, meet a lady like May Land and make it happen. Yeah. And networking needs to be something that everybody does on a regular basis. It's easy to get, and I've made this mistake where I get comfortable in the position I'm in and I'm so focused on that, that I'm not out networking because you never know what could happen and you want to build those relationships along the way. Right? You oh, want yeah, to build yeah, those absolutely. relationships along the way so that you're not only giving back, but if you do experience something like this, you've been already giving and helping and it's much easier to ask for help. Right. I was shown a lot of grace when, um, um, when this happened, you know, when, when the unexpected uh, layoff. Yeah. You happened. weren't expecting that. Absolutely. No, but guess I don't what? Think anybody it's, is. Yeah. No, but J hop said it. Build relationships, that's right, right, Foster? Mate, Build that's them. what we do. When that relationship word comes up, we get real close to this. We get real close. Relationships, <laughs> because it's important. It's important. And you know what? If you were to uh, check out the PMI Institute, you're going to build more relationships and meet that's more right. people. In your area of expertise. Now, May, how many, yeah. how many events did you say you guys have yearly? We have about 17 to 90. I believe during the COVID time, 2021, we have over 100 because oh we do a lot God. of virtual events. We have from Toastmaster, breakfast meeting, dinner meeting. We have education program teaching you how to use chat GPT to do your risk management and teach you technical, non-technical, and leadership talk. We have like a top leadership right now based on my understanding. We are confirmed with the councilwoman in the DFW area city to speak about the city project. So how they see project from a C-level executive view. So uh -huh. when we talk about relationship, Dana and Foster, you guys are amazing. But one thing I want to give everybody a tip. Today, if you want to know more about project management, feel free to come at me uh, through LinkedIn. But the best things I can bring to you, building relationship and networking events sometimes is really short. Sometimes it can be mechanical, introduce yourself, you don't really know that person. But the best way to do is through volunteering. I cannot, mm -hmm. I cannot address the emphasize this enough is if I don't volunteer, I don't show up, people won't see me That's because right. it's a hundred people there. May, real quick, tell us how to spell your name because there are going to be a lot of people looking for you on LinkedIn. Okay, it will be May, M-E-I is M E I, me and I, okay? May the force be with you. M E I. <laughs> I love you, May. <laughs> yes. So it's me and I. It's all about you, but my name spell N E and I, May. Then you just search. You actually being a Google May 767. You kind of like, why May 767? 767, look at your phone. It's actually a stand for PNP. So think about <gasps> M E I 767. <laughs> Yes, awesome. I do. A, yeah, I do a lot of linking sessions. So if uh -huh. you don't have your unique linking uh, URL, please make uh -huh. sure you're changing that. Right. I, am I hear music. We got to right go. We got to go. To, yeah, we got to go to commercial. D Dana, take us to commercial, and then we're going to hear from Lisa Banerjee when we get back. You guys. You want to save money on your. All righty, we will be back with Lisa Banerjee. See y'all in a minute. That's don't forget to link in with MEI. May win. <laughs> deals with the airlines. <laughs> 
When they have unsold seats, they use smart fares to fill them. So you get airline tickets at ridiculously low prices. Our prices are too low to publish online. With the extra money you'll save, you can book another trip or treat yourself to dinner or shopping. So stop searching all of those travel sites to find the lowest price on your next flight. Let one of our SmartFares expert travel agents find ridiculously low prices for you. Call SmartFares today and get the best price on your next flight. Guaranteed. Also, save up to 50% off business and first class tickets. 855-325-1820. 855-325-1820. That's 855-325-1820. Out of date carpet giving you the blues? Tired of your old dingy and broken tile? Let my friends at the Floor Store in Cleburne, Texas give your home the makeover it deserves. This is old Taco Joe coming to you for the Floor Store. Whether it's carpet, tile, wood flooring, or real wood laminate, the Floor Store can cover all of your flooring needs. Located at 405 West Henderson Street in Cleburne, Texas, owner Brent Harris can help. Shower tile, tub surrounds, even backsplashes. Give them a call today at 817-641-9444. The Floor Store, they got you covered. Fast Track Student Loans can get your student loans out of default, stop any wage garnishments, stop collection calls, and stop seizure of your tax refund. Give yourself a break. Stop the stress and get your student loan payments down to as little as $25 a month based on what you can afford to pay. 800-709-4395. 800-709-4395. 800-709-4395. 800-709-4395. Joko Community Radio. Listen live at tunein.com. Hello, Job Father Nation. We are so excited to be back for the second half. We had an amazing time with May in the very first part of our show. May Lynn is a PMP, ACP, and LPM certified project manager and uh, is a huge part president of the uh, Dallas Fort Worth chapter for the PMI Institute. We're, we're honored to have her. And now... We are going to move to an incredible individual, Lisa Banerjee, and Foster share a little bit about our guest of the second half of the show and the individual that brings with her the golden stamp of approval. She has the golden stamp of approval from the Job Father Job Seeker Network Radio Institute. <laughs> We're not institute, but we do. So, guys, let me tell you about a good friend of mine I've learned a lot about. And you know what? She's got a wonderful background. I want you companies to go to her LinkedIn and check her out because Lisa is an IT leader, guys. And she has been uh, with DirecTV. I usually mess up and say the other one. <laughs> we, we have <laughs> had so much fun with that. And guys, Lisa, is lives, she lives in Texas now. She's from Buffalo, New York. And I know Woo! when I say, I want to say Buffalo. You guys think of the Buffalo Bills. That's right. Our buddy up there, uh, Josh Allen from the University of Wyoming Cowboy, is the, is the quarterback up there. And so I have learned so much talking with Lisa. It's been so fun, you guys. I, I'd like to say, oh, it's obvious that Lisa moved to Texas from Buffalo. Buffalo is not a bad place, you guys. Actually, Lisa went to no, university. but it's cold. It's cold. Oh my God, that's what everybody <laughs> thinks. Cold. When I say Buffalo, everybody shrivels up. But uh, you know what? Uh, she went to university, but she's a Buffalo Bull. I didn't say a Bill. I said a Buffalo <laughs> Bull. She's a Blue Bull. A good friend of mine went to Buffalo, and he told me, "Foster, I'm a Blue Bull." I said, "What?" And he had to explain that to me. So, guys, of course, Niagara Falls is in Buffalo. So, of course, we want to visit Buffalo when you get an opportunity. But here's the thing. You probably want to visit Buffalo during the summertime. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to, guys, I'm, I knew I was going to try to make Lisa laugh. But I want Lisa to tell us a little bit about her experience and 
when you hire Lisa companies, there might be some, you know, as she talks, there might be a new application that you might think about. You might, you might want to hire Lisa, call her, talk to her, see what she thinks about it. She is available to go right now. She doesn't have to put in a two week notice. Uh, she is no longer with, uh, uh, I'm not going to say it, Lisa, with Direct TV. <laughs> she's no longer there, but she did some neat things at Direct TV. And before Direct TV, Lisa worked with AT&T. And then there was some collaboration there at, when she went to uh, to Direct TV that probably helped that she came from AT&T. So, Lisa, tell us a little bit about you. All right. So I'll start off by saying uh, I am from Buffalo, New York, and you've all said it's cold, but I always say it's a cold place with very warm hearts. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. We're Love very, it. very <laughs> kind people, very loyal. Yes. <laughs> but I'm absolutely proud to be from Buffalo, New York, and I did go to University at Buffalo. I did my undergrad in mechanical engineering. And oh, wow. I also went to the University of Rochester and did my MBA. Um, so I... In experience wise, I'm an IT executive. I specialize in transformation. So I've done right. a lot of change management. Um, I also do the people and culture change. I'm a very people focused executive. Um, and I've done all of this change across these very big organizations like DirecTV and AT&T and saved them millions and millions of dollars in IT costs. Um, I've at this point done just about every function in IT from you know, feature delivery, product development, uh, strategic program management, um, all sorts of innovative leadership roles. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm really looking for something that's solving the next big business problem. So at DirecTV, I was responsible for creating all of the IT plans and building out a $16 billion business oh from God. the ground up. So all of that infrastructure Everything that you do to create a company, it didn't exist anymore because they were separating from AT&T. And so we did all of that carve out and put together those plans. Um, and I learned, I learned a lot about infrastructure and cloud and how on-prem still has a place in very big enterprises. Ah. Um, I have a vast array of experience across IT and in leadership roles. Um, and I am located in Dallas, Texas now. I did live in Atlanta for about five, six years there. So I have been in warmer weather for quite a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you, um, Atlanta's weather is yeah, kind of similar to here, isn't it? It's the swings are less. It's kind of like the pendulum in Dallas swings very broadly between freezing and hot. And, and in Atlanta, it kind of stays a little bit more towards the middle. It's not quite as hot, but also not quite as cold. Right. Uh, we, we call ourselves sister cities a lot of time. I don't want to get off on this Atlanta thing, but we call ourselves <laughs> sister cities because there are so many companies that are headquartered here in Dallas that have uh, locations in Atlanta and so many in Atlanta that have locations here. Actually, there is a big PMP chapter, a project management institute chapter there in Atlanta, right, May? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. How and so, Lisa... I really like your background. When I've been an IT recruiter for longer than I want to tell our listening audience. And um, uh, when I first saw Lisa's uh, uh, LinkedIn profile, I'm like, wow. Because, you know, when you've been doing this for a while, especially in the IT function, you look at expertise and you look at what people have done. And you know when you got an A-plus person, it, it just kind of sticks out. So, guys, I want you to check out Lisa. Banerjee, B-A-N-E-R-J-E-E. -E -E. Did I get it right, Lisa? Yes, you did. It's perfect. See? Guys, go check out Lisa Banerjee. I know there are a number of companies that are listening to us right now. Guys, feel free to chime in the chat because that's why I invited you guys. I wanted you guys to see Lisa rather than her just being a LinkedIn profile or a resume that pops up on your computer because there's a lot that goes with Lisa. I have really, really enjoyed Lisa. I appreciate you giving me an opportunity to get to know you. And I am one of those people. I want to know the intangible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see what you did. I see what company you worked at, but who are you as a person? Because yeah, when it yeah. boils down to it, and Dana and I talk about this all the time, that is what we hire are the intangibles. Okay, Lisa's real smart, but can she get along with my team? Can she lead? In Lisa's case, guys, you're going to want to put her in leadership. 
you definitely want to put her in leadership and have her collaborate with teams. As a matter of fact, I'm going to assume, and Lisa, you connect me if I'm wrong, but you've probably hired project managers before, haven't you? I have. And now I know about PMP Dallas and I should have just gone there. <laughs> That's right. You guys, PMP Dallas is going to do a whole lot of things with May Lynn at the helm. And you know oh, what's, yes. what's yeah. awesome is that May was president before. So she's returning. Guys, May is one of those people. It, it's kind of like I think about what some of me and uh, Dana's world looks like. If you work for a company on contract and then a little bit of time passes by and that company hires you back on another contract or maybe hires you full time, that really, really looks good. Well, you know what? May did such a good job the first time they wanted her the second time around. Oh my goodness. And you guys got an you guys got a, an opportunity to hear me just a while ago so you can kind of understand what I'm talking about. So Lisa, guys, is one of those type of candidates. Everybody is not one, but as Dana said, Lisa gets a golden seal of approval oh, from the yes. job father. Absolutely. Lisa, it, are there some uh do you have any target companies? I know it's it's kind of agnostic for you in IT, uh, and I yeah. know you've been, you've been in in telecom before, but there is a use for what you do outside of telecom. Is there anything specific that you think you might would want to put your feet in and get in the middle of and figure out and spend some time in that area? So I've always worked within the parts of AT&T that were incredibly innovative. So it's a very big company, oh my God. but I worked in the parts that actually had to kind of break apart from the normal process and figure out how to do something new. And in that, I found I really like the most innovative areas. So companies that really focus on going out into that wild, wild west, those greenfield environments and uh -huh. figuring out what are the solutions. My background in mechanical engineering um, at the University of Buffalo and my MBA give me that talent of being able to bring structure to places where there's no structure. I actually really love chaos because I like putting ah, things in the right I do place too. Yeah. and putting it in the right order and figuring out you know, how do we move forward? Even when we're not sure what forward looks like, we only kind of directionally feel that we need to go in a certain way uh -huh. um, and kind of living in those waves of discovery. Uh -huh. um, so companies that have a reputation for being like that, one is financial services. That's a really big industry that looks for much innovative talent. FinTech is really big. Um, so Wells Fargo is building a really big, um, you know, building in Dallas. They just announced that the past few weeks. Um, Capital One is another one. Yeah. They're very big into AI and ML. Um, and I've done, had some experience with that. So I'd love to get my foot in the door at Capital One. Um, and Fidelity is another one. But really any company that has a big tech hub here that's looking for somebody who can go and be, you know, the discoverer and go and Go where no one else has gone before, right? Oh, that I like it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Let's go be space cadets together and figure Let's it out. Let's go be space cadets. You know, my my uh, I changed, guys. I changed my Zoom background from being on the beach to out in space. <laughs> I am uh, orbiting the Earth. It is so cool. But um, Lisa, all of those companies that you mentioned. Now, you know, I've been doing this a while, but all of yeah. those companies that you mentioned, we have more than 50 connections uh, in those companies. Most of those connections that I have on my LinkedIn, I helped them get their job before they got there. So, and Lisa and I have networked together and she's probably seen me raising my hand when people are asking, who's got a contact at this, you know, that kind of thing. I'm not saying that I'm special. That's for Dana to say, but uh, uh, you know, <laughs> but you know, I've been around. I've been around the Rosie boy. We've been there. I know Rex Sowett is listening to us, and uh, Rex, Rex. Hey, and if you have any questions, Rex, for Lisa, and I've talked to you about Lisa, uh, put them in the chat. And we like to connect, and we like to congratulate Rex on his new job as well. Yes, Rex is going to be at Liberty University. He's going to be the one of the top HR people, if not number one HR Amazing. at Liberty University. Just absolutely. So, Rex, we love you, brother. 
I know we love you're not, our reps. You're not gonna ever get out of network because I'm yeah. here. <laughs> so Lisa, and, you so Lisa, you have an amazing background, very yeah, robust. She does. Yes. With, it, for our listeners, just so they can kind of get an overall picture um, of what sets you apart. When you think about, you know, your robust background and experience, what are some of the things that you can pull out of all of that to say that set you apart from other candidates? I think Ooh, I, I learn really quickly. So, and I'm a lifelong learner. I'm just somebody that like, and it's hard because I kind of have that constant like peering around the corner um, and that itch to go and, ooh, what's that thing? Yeah. Um, so now now I'm researching FinOps is another one, right? So I've done the cloud transformation and now there's this emergence of FinOps that now needs to go and, and manage the financial parts of, fi you know, IT operations. Oh, wow. um, and so it's that constant need to learn, not just saying, you know, it stopped at my degrees. And then I'll also like say- it started there. <laughs> yes. I'll also say I was really privileged to start at at t through the leadership development program. Oh. And for somebody who's very curious like me and leads with curiosity, um, it was a program that was two and a half years and you did three different jobs. And they very purposely put you in jobs that were not your educational or work previous work experience. Oh, that's and, awesome. And yeah. so I started out in a call center that was small business sales, which is pretty much as far away from mechanical engineering as you could yeah, get. For sure. And just being able to learn how to manage in that environment of that constantly fluid call center environment kind of makes me feel like, you know, we think we say that tech moves really fast. Nothing moves as fast as a call center. A call center oh, is yeah, every yeah. call that comes in is different and you got to figure yeah. out how to change your approach, particularly in sales, to what that person on the phone needs. That's right. And that was a great, great lesson. Did it for a year, was in a union environment. So also had to deal with an odd amount of structure for being a call center okay. because you had to deal with union roles. Um, but being able to do that very early on in my career and learn how to tailor my message and talk to people appropriately and right. be on the same page as them mm -hmm. um, was an incredible gift and experience. I would guess just, just talking to Lisa now, I've, now I know Lisa and I have, I have just put it all up in her life all of a sudden here over the last couple <laughs> of weeks and given her background guys, given her engineering focus, I'm smelling operations out of that because I have the same background, not, not not engineering, but uh, I did work for NASA. But uh, guys, we want to dissect things. We want to see what the problem is. If there's a problem, we know it can be fixed. And we fix those problems, guys, through relationships, through those intangible things that I was talking about before. And I would bet you anything that Lisa is really, really good at that. I've not worked with Lisa, but I don't have to. I've been doing this long enough. I know a good one when I see one and Lisa is a good one. And Lisa, I I, I knew you were gonna say you're a quick learner because I bet you, oh my goodness, <laughs> because of the operational background and stuff that Lisa's been involved in, of course she's involved in collaboration and implementations and those sort of things. I think it's important. I, I really like Lisa that you brought up about continual learning. Um, you know, in order for a, individual to stay relevant in their career path, you have to pursue ongoing learning. Um, things change, new theories, new software, new processes, new um, concepts all the time. They're evolving, always evolving in every career field that you can think of. And I think that that sets you apart very nicely from a lot of people because not everybody is passionate about continuing to improve themselves and learn. That's something that I have found as well that is important in growth and uh, professional um, growth and, and, and also personal integrity is continuing to learn, continuing to pursue knowledge mm -hmm. so that you stay relevant in your field. And I'm sure, Lisa, that that will set you apart from so many candidates out there. Oh, yeah. Actually, Dana, I was thinking as the more that I listen to Lisa, I think about you and I because we've been involved in the operational end of recruiting function. You know, finding the candidates is great and that's always changing. How you find those candidates is different, but what do you do with them when you find them? 
Exactly. How, how do you, how do you manage your candidates? Yeah. What's my word? What's my word, Dana? Relationship. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and Jay Hop said he got close to the screen earlier too. We just couldn't see it. Hey, <laughs> is Me is Armez here with us today, Foster? I don't know. I think she is somewhere. Hasn't she been putting things in the uh, in the? I haven't seen Mez. She, I hope she's she, okay. Yeah, she's fine. She'll be fine. I talked to her last night. Okay. So good. But uh, guys, as Dana said, Mez, Meg Rose Cotterio, is our hype lady. She does yes. a lot of collaborating for this show, letting people know the show is here, why they should listen to the show, uh, spreading things through the network, putting together uh, the operational end of how we do certain events like Frisco Connect. She's one of our yeah. leaders at Frisco Connect. So you guys, uh, you find her on LinkedIn under M-E-Z, just Mez. And connect with her and say, hey, Foster and Dana, we're talking about you on the show. So let's get back to Lisa. We're supposed to be talking about Lisa. So, <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, a lot of companies that are in that, that media space might have an application that they want to talk to, uh, to Lisa about. Uh, Lisa, I think for you there's so much that you can do there's so much you know we talked about the fin space i like that for you there's some people i want to introduce you to that are in the fintech space uh and uh, we'll see where a lot of that goes hopefully a lot of people will be listening to you on the show and they want to reach out so lisa what is your email address if you don't mind let us know how to contact you well, it's easy because it's just my name at gmail.com. So it's Lisa Banerjee. That's L-I-S-A-B-A-N-E-R-J-E-E -E -E at gmail.com. Lisa, what brought you from, um, if you don't mind me asking, brought you all the way from Buffalo, New York to glorious Texas? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was recruited by AT&T for their leadership development program, and that brought me to Atlanta. And because the two hubs of AT&T at the time were Atlanta, a mobility was in Atlanta and uh -huh. corporate was in Dallas, I migrated over to Dallas through that. Ah, that's wonderful. So how long have you been in Dallas? About six years now. Oh wow! Oh, she speaks Texas. She's a Texan now. She's our. She's yeah. <laughs> I still don't have the hat and boots, so no, that's okay. No. You don't have to have a hat and boots to be a Texan. It's all about the love and the heart, just like We're working on the accent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do have a, the hat and boots, so maybe we should we should meet us uh, so we can exchange <laughs> our lessons. Yeah, there we go. I still need to get a hat and boots. <laughs> <laughs> now I think Matt is listening to us. Matt Harrington's listening to us as well. And Matt, you and I got some more talk because I want you to accompany me to one of May Linda, the the very function that we're talking about with May's function. Oh, there's Rex. And oh, let's see what let's see what Rex says. Lisa. Good question. With new threats in IT security, what new cybersecurity tools and systems do you foresee in 2023 and beyond? That sounds like a Rex question. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I see looking at automation and using AI to do predictive analysis. Mm. Um, that was something that we were looking at. You know, the the really, really cool part about the job at Direct TV is we were able to do things without the technical debt. And so we were looking at the latest and greatest solutions. And so AI and ML and learning and looking at all that data and figuring out what threats look like before they actually become a problem and putting in all of that alarming beforehand, those are the really, really big spaces um, and where we see IT going in the future. Rex, please link in with Lisa Banerjee uh, or Lisa connect with Rex. Now, everybody, I'm, I think I'm the only one that consistently knows how to spell his last name correctly. And guys, <laughs> I know how to spell Lisa's last name. I did good with Lisa because one of my top professors in college at University of North Texas when I made the North Texas was Dr. Banerjee. And, ah! I had, and so when Lisa said, my name is Dr. Banerjee, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, because Lisa <laughs> Lisa's young and I'm thinking I oh, wonder I wonder but no it wasn't my Dr. Panerjee <laughs> see I told you guys I've had fun getting to know Lisa and guys if you get a chance when you are networking when you're at a South Lake Focus Group when you're at a 
Frisco Connect, there will be a person there that you have an affinity to get to know better. May Land is easily one of those people. And when you in when you talk with May, you spend a little bit of time, maybe go to lunch. Now listen, if you invite May to lunch, please purchase her buy her lunch. Don't spend her time and not buy <laughs> I'm kidding. Thank you, Foster. Thank you, Foster. Foster, do you mind? I know we are very close in the ending time. Uh -huh. I just want to share one news to the uh, job seeker because we have an honor. We are confirming that we will have Blue Cross Blue Show Texas uh -huh. bringing their team. Of course, Lisa, feel free if you come to our May 11 event. I believe they will have leadership. They have recruiter. They have open 20 jobs there. So if job seeker on the call want to looking for project management role, please feel free to join us. I just want to say we are confirming their attendance right now, but it's highly, highly, highly uh, promising they will be there for the like a recruiting and interviewing booths. There, are, uh, thanks, May, for that because I understand that I do the same thing myself on our Frisco Connect. We've got about ten companies that are going to show up to our next Frisco Connect now. Three of those companies I want Lisa to meet. Uh, Lisa, there's a guy named Rick Martinez that owns R2 Technologies. Are you familiar? Have you has anybody talked to you about Rick? Uh, I've heard of R2 Technologies. Uh huh. Yes. Uh, Rick and I have been recruiters forever, and we've been <laughs> we've been friends. Rick speaks at a number of our events. Awesome guy in IT. He can talk to you about uh, the, the the growth of IT in the Dallas area. We are an IT hub. I think us, uh, a little bit of Chicago and a lot of Atlanta are strong in IT across the country. Because guys, our network is in 35 states. So I get to hear this kind of information. And um, Lisa, I want you to meet Rick. Rick will probably be there. Shannon will be there. Shannon Nelms will be there if he is not. Uh, also, there's a recruiter uh, named another Shannon. Shannon Nybert, who works with Alchemy. And uh, I don't know if I, I, I meant to suggest that you go to the Alchemy website and see if there are leadership opportunities there, but they do some really neat stuff. Wow. There's just so many people I want to introduce because I know some of the best uh, IT recruiters in Dallas-Fort Worth, and I'm used to seeing the jobs that they post because we are the Career Search Network. Hey, you know what? Foster Holia just put something in the chat that's really interesting uh, real quick before we wrap. What, what um, say? When it comes to leadership and, and staying, you know, ever evolving, um, she she brought something to the table that's really important is regardless of our level of experience, it's so important to stay in touch with some of the younger, fresher minds that we work with in our different industries, uh -huh. because there's new things that you can learn from them as well. And I agree with that. Um, it's important we don't get stagnant or think we know everything. I think the best leaders are ones that are humble and open to learning from other people. We can always learn something from other people. There are eight, it was, is it, it's, I think we're up to 8 billion people on this planet now. Woo! And I think God probably intended for us to get along and learn from each other. We don't know everything. We need him all the time. And we always all start the to show off with a prayer, but we keep networking guys. And Lisa, right. thank you for joining us today. Thank and you, I hear Lisa. the music. Thank you, we'll see you guys. We'll see you guys next Friday. Wilson to Venus and Grand View to Gotti. Bye, everyone. See you next week. Coke. See you next Radio. Week. Have you seen a single person in your life that enjoys paying taxes? No, no one does. If you can't sleep at night because you have a huge problem with the IRS, I've got some free advice for you. This